tracks then go crazy. What's going on, my good folks? It's your man, your guy, your boy. 1127 Kicks. I hope everybody out there is having a great day and amazing day and overall a blessed day. Say, man, if you're new to the channel, do your boy a huge favor. Hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the page. And if you're already with the movement, bro, I greatly appreciate you, man. Hit that like button. Share this video. And let's go ahead and keep this page growing. So, man, I think back, yeah, last month I was uh, saying that I, I didn't see the Air Jordan 1 that was dropping for December. And it uploaded on Sneakers app not too long ago. Just the other day, it uploaded on Sneakers app, man. But the cat was already out the bag. We already knew this shoe was releasing. And the shoe I'm talking about is the Air Jordan 1 J Balvin joints, man. Now, this shoe right here, it's, it's a very interesting shoe. Now, I want to say it's a mid, but it's not looking like a mid to me. But we're we going to get into that a little later and stuff like that. Why? I think it's a mid, but... From the picture is not looking like a mid just in my personal opinion now with this shoe right here first of all just getting into j balvin you know shout out to him he is the first latino to actually do a collaboration with nike with the air jordan one so that's a big salute for him and then on top of that um he's from colombia i think he's from medellin if i'm not mistaken and he's actually sold more than 35 million records around the world so he is definitely not a scrub when it comes to music. I haven't, you know, personally heard his music, but 35 million records sold, man, that speaks for itself right there. So just getting to this shoe right here, man. As you can see, this shoe is with crazy colors on there, man. You got blue, you got neon, you got red. It looks like you got some yellow up in there, man. This shoe is very colorful. It's a lot going on. And as you see with the ridges that's, you know going throughout the shoes and stuff like around the toe box and everything like that from what i see and from what nike said that's you know describing jay balvin's energy like his burst of energy and stuff like that because this shoe did you know first surface when he did his you know super bowl halftime show i believe it was with shakira and jennifer lopez earlier this year man and we everybody thought we were gonna get a shock drop but we didn't they actually waited all the way to this year and i honestly feel like the super bowl halftime shock drops I think they're dead now because I think Nike know we done caught on to that. So it is what it is. So with that being said right there, man, he does have a lot of energy when you actually see him perform. Now with this shoe right here, you also see that he has a smiley face on, on the shoe as well. And that's his like, you know, his signature smiley face. And then on top of that, you can actually remove, you know, the smiley face that's on the bottom back of the shoe as well. It's like a patch or whatever. So you can honestly put it on whatever side of the shoe that you actually want to put it on so that just lets me know that the material on this shoe will be a one now the reason why i say it looks like a mid because the smiley face on the tongue you know that tab on there it looks like the tab that's usually on the air jordan one mid tongue like i could honestly just visualize you know the Jumpman logo with the air at the bottom but this shoe doesn't look like it has the height of an Air Jordan 1 mid. That's just my personal opinion right there. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. It really doesn't look like it has the height of an Air Jordan 1 mid. And then on top of that, this shoe is retailing for 190 Now, with that being said right there, we've had Air Jordan 1 mid, like the Fearless Pack and everything come out. But I, just, I don't remember or recall any of them going for like 190 or even like 170 I believe it was like a solid 140 or something like that please correct me if I'm wrong now with Air Jordan 1's you know with them exclusive Air Jordan 1's you'll see sometimes Nike will go you know above that price tag like last year Air Jordan 1's was 160 and when the Travis Scott highs came out you know they charged us 175 for them if I'm not mistaken when the unions came out I believe the unions was going for 190 retail as well so with that being said right there sometimes for collabs nike will you know up that price especially on an air jordan one they will up the price on that and now that i'm thinking about it usually on collabs you know that's when you see the shoes if they retail for 200 it's probably gonna be 220 or something like that so with that being said right there i'm just you know real curious about you know if this is truly a mid or in high man so in the conversation below please let me know what y'all think please let me know if this is a mid or a high because once again the tab where the smiley face is i could really see a jump man with the air with the air logo at the bottom you feel what i'm saying it really looks like that to me 
But then again, it's retailing for 190, and I just really don't see Nike putting the Air Jordan 1 mid at 190, even if it's a collab. Maybe 170, maybe like 160, 170, but 190, 200 at the tax, you know, depending on where you at. I just don't see it right there. That's just that's just me right here. But this shoe is dropping December 8th, man, which is a great day because that's actually my mother's birthday, man. So I'm definitely excited about that. No, December 6th is my mother's birthday. I'm so sorry, mom. December 8th is my oldest brother's birthday. My bad, mom. I remember your birthday. But, you know, with that being said right there, I definitely think this shoe was fire. And I do think that this shoe will sell out immediately, quickly. Now, I was looking on StockX. This shoe is actually going for some it's going for some bread right now just to get it early. Once again, unless you just want that guaranteed dub, I understand if you just go ahead and pay the money right now. But after the shoe go ahead and releases and everything like that, man, usually the day of release, you're going to see the prices skyrocket. People have those impulse buys. They was like, man, I really want them and all these other things like that. And then after that, maybe a few days after that, you know, you will actually see the price drop. It will drop, it will drop, it will drop. And then eventually, you know, the price will shoot up. This is still an Air Jordan 1, so you already know how people are going to do. If you want to, hey, you got to pay to play. You feel me when it comes to these Air Jordan 1s. So once again, man, if you want to pay that money to give yourself that guarantee W, there's nothing wrong with that. I totally understand it. But at the same time, I feel like if you're patient, you could catch the shoe at a good price. The best shoe right now that I could, you know, put in an example for that is the Air Jordan 5 Off-Whites. The day that shoe released, man, that shoe was going for some bread, almost $1,000. Now, I believe I checked GOAT in my size the other day, I believe last night, it was going for like $630. It dropped down. Now, that now that shoe will go up eventually. It will be a $1,000 shoe eventually, of course. But at the same time, this is still an off-white. That's Virgil, and that went down. So with that being said right there, I feel like the prices on these will go down after release just a little bit so you can catch it at a very good price if you don't cop a release day. But after that, it's going to shoot up, man. So definitely be on your P's and Q's when it comes to the shoe. As far as right now, I'm only seeing this shoe drop on the sneakers app. I really haven't seen any other information about where the shoe is dropping, but if I find out every, any more information, I definitely will bring it to y'all, man. And once again, I feel like this is, I think everybody's going to go for this shoe right here. This is a shoe that everybody's going to go for. And then after that, you know, like I said, we got the Jubilees, we got the Yeezys, we got the University Blues and stuff like that. So it's a lot of stuff that's releasing. So you never know, man. You might have a good chance. You might have some people that's like, man, forget these on what those Yeezys, those Yeezy breads are. You might have some people like, man, I just copped those University Blues. I'm just going to have to pass on these or something like that. So with that being said right there, man, you never know. But with Nike dropping so much heat at the end of the year and stuff like that, I feel like this is one of the best times where people could actually pick up shoes where they thought they couldn't get because there's so much releasing at one time. You literally have people that's picking and choosing out there. You feel what I'm saying? So with that being said right there, man, I hope everybody who wants the shoe can get the shoe. And when I get more information, man, I definitely will bring it to y'all. But I just want to say I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Let me know how y'all feel about this shoe in the comment section below. Is this shoe a cop or is this a drop, man? Is this a shoe for a toe or is this something that you're going to flip, man? Just be honest about it. Let me know how y'all feel about this shoe in the comment section below. But I just want to say I greatly appreciate y'all. Make sure you keep on liking and subscribing to the page. We are on the road to 3K. Get your boy to 3K before the year is over. That would be greatly appreciated, man. But I want to say I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Justice for George Floyd, as always. And you already know how we fit the end of the video off. If you search for good, you shall find a favor. If you search for evil, you shall find you. Proverbs 11:27. And we walk in faith and not by sight. But what is seen is temporary, what is unseen is forever. I live by that. I stand by that, man. And always remember, bro, anybody could be somebody and that somebody is you. And that's facts. And it's your boy, 1127 Kicks. And always remember, bless your feet with something. Who did hit me up and told me shit on these niggas? Cause these niggas out here came back to go showing the different. Keep on dropping all of that shit that made these for wanna listen. You know these niggas ain't fucking tellin' get out of here.